Hi, I'm Amy Holcomb, Experiential Learning Coordinator. And I'm Amy Kuster, Youth and Family Program Coordinator. Welcome back to the Boombox. Through April 17th, we're featuring all things Earth Science. Today, we'll show you how to build your own volcano and erupt it. To construct your volcano, you'll need a cardboard cereal box, paper, like construction paper or newspaper, scissors, tape, a marker. You'll also need Mod Podge or Elmer's glue to apply it over the paper. To build your volcano, first take your cardboard cereal box. Make sure the flaps on both ends are open. Take your scissors and cut along one of the seams from the side and the front of the box. Use the volcano skeleton template in the description below to mark out on the cardboard box where you're going to have your tiers and their supports. The volcano skeleton is made out of three tiers, so you'll cut out all six tier strips. Your bottom tier is going to be made up of three, the middle tier out of two, and the top out of one, and you'll just tape the designated ends together to form rings. To add height to the volcano skeleton, you'll add supports to the middle and top tiers. The middle should get four supports, and the top should get three. Now we're almost ready to add the sides to our volcano, but first we're going to arrange the tiers in three concentric circles. The sides of our volcano are made out of paper, so take your scissors or tear strips of the paper that's going to be long enough to connect from the top tier to the bottom. When you've got enough strips of paper mostly covering the sides of your volcano, now you can get out the Mod Podge or the glue and use a brush to apply an even coat over the entire volcano. It takes Mod Podge or glue a little while to dry, so give yourself at least a couple of hours. Overnight is preferable. For the chemical reaction, we're making something called elephant's toothpaste. And for that, you will need the following ingredients. You'll need some dish soap, dried active yeast, hot water, and hydrogen peroxide that's at least 8%. First, measure a half cup of hydrogen peroxide and pour it into a plastic container. Add about one tablespoon of liquid dish soap to your hydrogen peroxide and stir. In a separate plastic cup or container, add one tablespoon of dry active yeast. In the container that has the dry active yeast, add three tablespoons of hot water. Stir for at least 30 seconds. Once the yeast has been activated with the hot water, pour that solution into the first container that has the hydrogen peroxide and dish soap. Now it's time to erupt our volcano. Stand back. 